Yo, yo, what's up, peoples? I'm Tim from Game Invaders, and I've just got Fallout 4. So usually what I do when I get a new game is I check out a bit of the game, tell you what I think, give a little first impression review, and then I'll, after that, make some more videos with walkthroughs and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'll just show you what I got with the game first. So in the actual box, I, I didn't pre-order anything, but I did get, I got a code for Fallout 3 for Xbox 360. So that's pretty cool. I never actually finished Fallout 3, so I might get a have a shot. Hopefully it remembers my save game. I also got Vault Dweller's Survival Guide. So that's just a little, I think that's just a little booklet that tells you what to do. Yeah, it just tells you the buttons and so forth. And I've got a, uh, a map, it looks like. Okay, it's just got all your different kind of abilities and stuff. A bit of a poster, not a map. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And uh, a bit of art on the inside of the case there. Pretty neat, really. A lot of games these days, you don't even get a manual, so it's good to get all that stuff. Anyway, let's check out the game. So here we go, Fallout 4. Oh yeah. War. I see footsteps. War changes. In the year 1945. Looks like a bit of a war's going down. Grandfather. Serving in the army. Wow, that looks rad. I don't know if that that almost looks like. Wondered when he'd get to go home. To his I think wife. it is. And the son he'd never seen. It is. He got his wish. When the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon. Nuclear war, but as a eh? Really limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand well, they're going to make a Fallout movie. It would make such a good movie, wouldn't it? And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. So what an awesome startup. It was all in black and white, but it didn't matter. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? I guess it makes it feel like the past Absolutely. when it's in black and white, and doesn't get it? Ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Wow, the graphics look great. All right, so we can change our face, our sex, our body. What kind of face do we want? Highlight facial features to sculpt. Ah, crazy. So we've got to give him some longer hair, I reckon. Oh, that's a bit better. I just cut my hair, so I'm more of a fan of uh, longer, longer hair, though. That one's pretty cool, the pointy hair. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go that one. 
Wait, did you feel kind of reminds me of Neil from The Young Ones, Cross with the guy from Grand Theft Auto Five. Uh, I reckon that'll do. Oh, look, you can change heaps of different aspects of him though. But I kind of like him like that. Can I give him my mustache? Mouthful. Oh, you can actually sculpt it yourself. Oh, that's crazy. Ah, oh, let's try it. We gotta try it. Can I make? Oh, <laughs> look at his nostrils. Ah, oh, that's freaky. Whoa. <laughs> it's weird messing with this dude's face. I'm just gonna leave it there. Yeah, that's good, mate. You look fine. And we can make him more muscular, bit fatter, or thin. Uh, there's not enough uh, video games with fat dudes in it, so I'm going to make my dude nice and chunky. <laughs> His girlfriend's not looking at him as much now. Uh, that's fine. Let's go, fat dude. <laughs> Oh, hopefully he can still move as fast as a uh, muscly guy. Thanks, Kazuwa. Of course, sir. Enjoy your coffee, sir. So what an awesome world. It's kind of like futuristic, but like also across with like the 1950s or whatever the game's kind of set in. And I really dig it. I hope, hopefully they do make a movie out of this one day. I reckon it'll be rad. It's a little early to be drinking. Hey, hon. What's going on, Nora? Can we give her a spank? Doesn't look like it. Sugar bombs. Cereal. Sugar bombs. Let's have some sugar bombs. What else we got in our house? There's the laundry. Oh, we got a kid, have we? We can play with our baby. It's a pretty cool little rocket thing I've got. Matches the wallpaper. So it looks like the world hasn't gone to crap yet. Right, can we can we bail? No, we cannot bail. Hey, hon. Let me out. I want to go for a spin in my rad wheels. Can you get that? It's. Probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. Okay, so we got to get the door, did she say? Yep, there's someone at the door. Voltec calling. Hey, bro. I'm, uh... Well, you know, bit of... Good morning. Hey, Vault Tech dude. What do you want? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy... <laughs> I like my big fat dude. Me. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir... This country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a... Uh, mm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Oh yeah, I'm allowed in a you vault. Like Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Sounds great. Let's do now, it. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. 
Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so now we can add our points. So we'll make ourselves a bit stronger. We better give ourselves one of everything, than I reckon. And then we can add a few more things. So endurance is good. Uh, strength is good. Charisma is good. I wonder what intelligence does. Anyway, I'll, I'll make it all pretty even, I think. Um, oh, it tells you down the bottom. Perception, awareness, six sense, affects weapons, accuracy. Insurance, it affects your health. Charisma, ability to charm and convince others. So I'll go a bit more endurance and strength, I think. Luck. Yeah, we'll go a bit of luck. A bit more intelligence. And that should do us. And we just have to give our character a name. I think I will call my character Dude Face. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just All right, we're ready to rock and roll. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Yeah, I'm prepared for atomic annihilation. For you and Sean, awesome. no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hunt? Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love this speech. So the graphics are just looking so rad for a Fallout game, so smooth, and I can't wait to get through this game. Like the last one was awesome, but the graphics, even when that came out, because I was playing it on console, oh, just kind of felt a bit weird, like it was an engine for another game or something, I'm not sure, but it was still absolutely an awesome game, don't get me wrong, but this one I think... It's going to be Let's the Fallout, just because of the graphics mixed with anyway. awesome Fallout gameplay. You okay? Didn't forget how to handle the baby, did we? What'd she say something about the baby? How are the two most important men in my life feeling? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Oh yeah, spin that crib model. Much better now, huh? I hope Listen, you're entertained, baby. I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Sounds Sir? fun. You should come and see this. No, I want to watch my crappy TV instead. Better go find out what's wrong with Codsworth. Detonation! Grab the baby, let's go to the vault. Lucky like we just signed up for it five minutes ago. Let's get out of here. Wow, look at this awesome city. Oh, I don't want to see it get blown up. Look how nice it all looks. Everyone's just standing out on the street. Yeah, a few people are coming. Look at the awesome cars. 
That's rad. I don't want to ride that. Yeah, we want to hammer the baby, love. Yeah. So look at the graphics in this game. It is unbelievable for Fallout. I am ridiculously stoked. Let us in the vault. Excuse me, you're in the program, step four. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, you two, follow me. God Come on. Us all. What's going to happen Mike. to all those people outside we're the gate? everything we can. Now keep moving. They're all goners. I think we got an infant. Almost there. So We're this is okay. how they enter the vault. Usually, I'm like the you. last game, you Both start off in the vault you and you don't see how you oh entered it. I think you're actually born in the vault in the last game. Shaniers, Nicola Disaster, let us in. Wow. That would have got us. For a better future no, no, underground. I'm thinking about that. You're safe now. Excuse me. Everyone, just head up these stairs. God damn you. Everyone, just head up these stairs. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. Welcome. Vault 111. Welcome home. Step over to the table. Proceed in an orderly fashion. You'll need your suits Welcome. before we can take you further. Pick up a suit right over there. Here you are. Head down the hall there. Right hey there. there. There's some problems with our luggage. They're, they're telling us to wait. Uh, thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. Yeah, we got an awesome jumpsuit. Hey, huh? Hopefully it's big enough for my big dude. Come on, Nora. Oh, you're gonna love it. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Gone. Our home. Everything we had. I wonder how many people they store in these vaults. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It would have been expensive building all this underground. Are we going getting put into status? Just step in here. Ah. Status me up. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Not going Does the infant go in with her? Where do we go in this one? That's oh, a decontamination pod. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. You know, all right with the baby. It would be freaky if anything happened to her being locked in here. I 
Well, maybe it was status. Sounds cold. Oh no, I thought this something might happen bad. No. Get me out of here. Get me out. Don't shoot her. Oh, no. Oh, I can't handle that. Come on, I've got to get this guy. You're stuffed, mate. You're stuffed. Yeah. Screw you, mate. I'm coming for you. Finally, we're getting out of there. God damn it. Come on! There has to be a release! Is she, is she alive? Let me get in there. Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get shot back. I promise. Oh my god, that's really upsetting me. Alright, let's go get these bastards. <coughs> ah, I'm gonna get them all. Let me out of here. Is that a big bug? That's a massive bug. Well, they always say that uh, cockroaches can so survive nuclear events. So they probably would become really big. Can we squish them? Ah! They hurt me. You're, you're a goner. Roaches. Cockroach meat. Mmm, yum yum. Yeah, electricity. So I'm ridiculously stoked with this game. It is crazy awesome. Um, Fallout's awesome. Fallout's with awesome graphics equals mega awesome. And that's what this game is. So if you haven't got it, get it. It rocks. I'm going to give this game 6 out of 5. It's the most I've ever given a game. And that's because this game is awesome. And I've just been hanging for a new Fallout. So it's given me a big motive to uh, get that get that dude. Uh, I've got to find a terminal. This could be it. Wrong side. Uh, that looks like one of those really old Apple computers. Uh, what do we need? Open evacuation tunnel. Is that it? Yeah, baby. Nice. That was easy. I could have done some other things. You. What? Oh, was that a gun? So it looks like there's lots of different looty stuff around. And that's what's awesome about Fallout. A lot, a lot of shooters don't have much loot, besides Borderlands. Always a bit lackluster loot in first-person shooters.
Uh, so many uh, cockroaches and bugs. Okay, you can you can weld stuff and fight at the same time or something. Massive vault this vault. Wonder how long until we actually can get out of it. Is this where we started? Yes, this is where we started. So I haven't made it very far. So he does tire if you run for too long, but I guess if you boost your agility abilities, you'll soon. Uh, be able to run for longer distances and I highly recommend this game like I said it's worth six out of five and that's the first 20 25 minutes of it I'll uh, be back soon with a bunch of walkthroughs thanks for watching grab yourself a copy see you later bye bye catch up